okay last class we started projections of lines so in this projections of lines we can assume a line in space in various positions so first case is when the lines parallel to both the reference planes that is parallel to hp or parallel to unparallel to vp when the line is parallel to both the planes i think we solved a problem on this a1 a2 a3 so we solved three problems when the line parallel to both the planes and next set of problems b1 b2 b3 is when the line is perpendicular to one reference plane and parallel to the other am i audible any of you yes, or your respond yes sir audible sir okay good next set of problems b1 b2 b3 so those are next condition that is when the line is perpendicular to one of the reference plane and parallel to the other so it may be parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp or it may be perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp so two possible conditions are there and other than 1 2 3 4 4 and 5 when the line is inclined to one reference plane and parallel to the other so c1 c2 c3 problems discuss these four and five conditions when the line is parallel to v parallel to one reference plane and inclined to the other and in the projections of lines one sheet number 7 we are discussing only the first five conditions that is when a line is in simple position either parallel or inclined to any one reference plane so parallel to one reference plane and inclined to the other so coming to she last option when the line is inclined to both vertical plane and horizontal plane so it is a little bit complicated we'll discuss these problems in sheet number 8 and we'll name the sheet as projections of lines 2 so are divided just for simplification purpose projections of lines 1 and projections of lines 2 now going to the problem last class what we discussed so i said be ready with this document as today i'm explaining you on board it is not possible for me for sharing this problem so i shared all these problems in the whatsapp also now i'm sharing this in the chat box b1 b2 b3 so if any of you don't have the pdf or not prepared by writing in any other book just refer to the chat box so next to possible condition when the line is perpendicular to one reference plane and parallel to the other see here when the line is perpendicular suppose see the condition when the line is perpendicular to the horizontal plane there is a condition both the end points are at the different levels from the ground now and it is parallel to the vertical plane suppose in front view in front view it looks as a line perpendicular to xy line is it in front view it looks as a line perpendicular to xy line but in top view when you see the line exactly from top you can see only a simple point you can see only the point but not the complete line but the complete line is at the same distance from the vertical plane is it the complete line is at the same distance from the vertical plane so you can see as a point at a distance from the vertical plane suppose when the line is perpendicular to vertical plane when the line is perpendicular to vertical plane in front view what you can see 
point. A point. But in top view, we can see the complete line. So in top you can see a line perpendicular to vertical plane. So you can see a line perpendicular to x y line in top view, and in front view a simple point. So let us go through the first problem. Perpendicular to HP, the line is perpendicular to HP. So better write it in the short form. The line is perpendicular to HP. Means it implies front view is perpendicular to x y line. Is it? As the line is perpendicular to HP. HP relation always shown in the front view. So the front view is perpendicular to x y line. So is it clear, students? Can you see the board? What I am writing on the board? Yes, sir. Okay. And next condition. 30 mm in front of VP, both the end point, the line is complete line is 30 mm in front of the VP. So means both the end points in top U, A comma B are 30 mm below X Y top U points. So as it is a top U representing them without dash. So both the top U points are at a distance of 30 mm below the X Y point. And one of its end is 10 mm above the HP. So general one end, if it gives us one end, we will take it as a first point, point A. So HP relation is front view. A dash is 10 mm above X Y line. A dash is 10 mm above X Y line. So in you need not represent these short forms on drawing sheet. Only the figure what I am drawing represent them. As it is, one B on the right hand side corner in the circle. Write the number of the problem. So let us represent all these B one, B two, B three on the same X Y line. X one. Now, how? The so point is in front view. In front view, it is perpendicular to x y. The line A B, perpendicular to x y, with A dash 10 mm above x y. So A dash 10 mm above x y, and the line is perpendicular to x y. So draw a perpendicular line from this 10 mm point. So this is point A dash. Given one of the point is 10 mm above x y, and from here the line is perpendicular to x y line. The other end point is B dash. What about the top view? So as it is a true length of the line, represent this line with H B. See here, I'm drawing it with a blue color line. Draw this complete line with H B. Now. For getting the top view, project this point to below x y line. To what extent? It is given that a comma b are 30 mm below x y line. So extend this line 10 mm below x y line. So 30 mm below x y line. And here represent a comma b. And here one more condition. When you are seeing a line like this in the top view direction, can you see both the points or only top point? Only top point. Only top point. The base point is hiding. So in the same way, when you are seeing the line from in top view direction, only B is visible, A is hiding. So for differentiating, we will represent point A within the brackets. So within the brackets implies the point A is hiding, but at this location both A and B are overlapping. A and B are overlapping at the same position, but point A is hiding behind point B. So this is how to represent a line when it is perpendicular to horizontal plane. And finally, the dimensions.
true length of the line for all the problems the true length of the line you are said to consider it as 80 mm 80 mm true length of the line 80 mm one end point is at a height of 10 mm above x y line and in top u both are at the same distance of 30 mm below x y line so the three values given in the problem so remember the line only the complete line a dash to b dash must be with hp pencil and this is a projector the line joining the front view and top view locations you will term it as a projector so you must represent the projector with 2h pencil that's why can you identify this i am changing the color of the pen black and blue just for differentiating the line with hb and the line with 2h now go to the b2 share in the chat box if any of you are don't have the problem with the pdf just go through the b2 i'm again tabbing b2 perpendicular to vp the line is perpendicular to vertical plane means so perpendicular to vertical plane means top view relations always shown in perpendicular or vertical plane relations always represented in top view always the vertical plane relations are represented in top view i am erasing this the date of first problem the line is perpendicular to vertical plane it means in top view top view means a dash b dash or simply write it as a top view for consideration top view is perpendicular to x y line and next condition 10 mm above the hp the complete line is 10 mm above the hp so when the line is perpendicular to one reference plane definitely it is parallel to the other as it is perpendicular to vp it is parallel to hp and it means it is given as the line is 10 mm above hp which implies a dash comma b dash or at a height of 10 mm above x y line and it's one end in hp sorry and its one end is in vp and its one end is in vp means in top u one of the end point of the line is in vp means point a on x y line point a is an x y line so represented the entire data in the pro in the problem given data in short form now try to represent this in the figure so first always remember we must start with a view in which we can see the complete line length in this problem we can see the complete line length in the top view as the line is perpendicular to vertical plane in front view you can see a point simple point but in top view you can see the complete line so we must start the problem with top view so how the top view top view is perpendicular to xy with one point on xy line point a is on vp means in particular in top view one of the point is on x y line so starting from x y line on x y line represent the point a from here draw an 80 mm long line and indicate the other end as b this is the top view of the line so the line position the line is starting from the vertical plane it is perpendicular to vertical plane and one end is in vertical plane so that's why the line starts from the vertical plane in front view so now we completed representing these two conditions the third condition is the line a dash b dash is 10 mm above horizontal plane the line is 10 mm above the horizontal plane means both the end points a dash and b dash are at height of 10 mm above x y line so project this line with 2h pencil up to 10 mm height and at this location 
indicate this point as a dash comma a dash and coming to front view you can see only one point the second where this point is hiding is it or not when you are seeing in the front view you can see only one point the second point end point is hiding so here which point is hiding and which point is visible always remember take it as a general concept always the observer views towards the x y line so first we complete it top view now draw a arrow mark towards x y line so if we are viewing in this direction which point is visible and you are viewing in this direction point b or point a which point is visible b yes, yes point b is visible point a is hiding so represent point a dash within the brackets indicating both are at the same point but point a is a hiding point now so till now any of your any doubts in these two problems a b l x y can the can the question sir part fine give good the top you so problem you can कंडीशन फ्रंट व्यू अबो एक्स वैन अंड टापी बिलो एक्स वैन प्रॉब्लम लो स्पेसिफाई चेस्ट है स्पेसिफिक का इस तरह का वो विल फॉलो द कंडीशन अदरवाइज डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम एच पी और डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम वी पी और मात्र में इच्छा रन करने विथोर्ड इंडिकेटिंग वेदर इट इस अबो बिलो इन फ्रंट और बिहाइंड वो इल एज्यूम द कंडीशन एस इन फर्स्ट कोऑर्डिनेट सो फर्स्ट कोऑर्डिनेट is it clear yes sir so default problem was specific place so definitely you have to follow but here not the condition is not given below x y below oh yeah, sorry in front of vertical plane or behind vertical plane so we are following the default condition first angle coming to the third problem so meanwhile just go through this in the chat box b3 I'm again typing this. But try this problem. Try to write it in the short form. I'm giving time, one minute time. Try to write this in the short form. How I'm writing? Try change. the line is perpendicular to hp in vp and its one end in hp so first step any of you unmute your audio and respond try to or share your screen if you have completed or show it on your book a dash b dash uh, above x y z A dash B dash above X Y line. One point is on X Y. One point is on X Y. So the line is perpendicular to H P. Means front view is front view is perpendicular to X Y. So first we have to decide whether the front view is perpendicular or top view is perpendicular. So perpendicular to H P means H P relations always H P relates always. Front view. So front view is perpendicular to x y. Suppose if it is given, the line is perpendicular to v p. V p always relates to top view condition. So top view is perpendicular to x y line. So here, front view. Front view is perpendicular to x y line. And what are the other conditions? In v p, the complete line is in v p means. Both the points in top 
of you are on x y line in vp indicates the complete line is in vp so both a comma b on x y so complete top view of the line is on x y line and front view is perpendicular to x y line its one end is in horizontal plane means a dash you can take a dash or b dash so let it be a dash so front view condition a dash a dash on x y line so first let us complete the front view as the line is perpendicular to horizontal plane we can see the front view line so the line is perpendicular to horizontal plane we can see the true length of the line in front view so we start the problem with front view so front view are the condition a dash on x y line so with starting point a dash on x y line and extend this line for atm and the map the other end point as b dash a dash b dash on front view perpendicular to x y line and a dash but on x y line what about top view no about top view ab on x y line ab on x y line so both the end points of top view are on x y line so on x y line a comma b so here if you observe on the x y line at the same point a dash a b are overlapping but a dash you may show above x y line and a b below x y line as it is in the top view condition and which point is visible and which one is hiding b is visible yeah. b is visible as as you are seeing from top b is visible and a is i don't forget to represent the dimensions so dimensions for the second problem is true length of the line so even though the true length is common for all the three problems we have to represent the true length of the line and this in top in front view the line is at the distance of 10 mm similarly for the third case b3 the true length of the line is 18 so remember only the line must be with hb pencil the line means line joining a dash b dash or ab final front view and the final top view front view line means a dash b dash and top view means ab only these must be with hb pencil and the remaining part of the line the line joining the front view to to top view this must be with 2h pencil and the dimensioning must be with h so dimension should not dominate the final line is it clear if any of you are having doubts in this beep unmute your audio and respond if you don't have any doubt i will move on to the next problem c sir rendu point lo okay place lo unte edi first kanipistund anedi x y nin chudala sir towards x y Towards X Y way, put it for chair. Put it for that. So just draw an arrow mark towards X Y line. X Y way, put arrow mark towards this corner. So this is the viewing direction. So it's a view just now. First touch point ending. B direction. B is visible and A is hiding. And most of the cases, the points which are nearer to X Y line are hiding. One more way. One more way is the points which are nearer to X Y line are hiding. In do kind of top view, front view just suppose top view touches some downward. Top view la confusion under the sorry, but in the reverse case la putin under we have to see towards the why because top view touches the upper. We are assuming this as the horizontal plane. Is it or not? Top view touches the upper. We are assuming this as the horizontal plane. And above x y line is vertical plane. So top view draw just like that. It will draw just now. This entire line is. Or it will be. So direction ending. 
top view ipudu kuda find it front view ade in this direction so always towards the reference plane mana chuse view ipudu kuda towards the reference plane untundi so ee confusion lekunda just gutte pettukovali anukunte kanaka always towards x y line no need to represent this arrow just meku addam avadam kosam draw chesa so front view nunchi gaane top view nunchi gaane to draw chesna always the we must see towards x y line okay sir so visit completed next go through the c1 c2 c3 so c1 c2 c3 anade next set of conditions that is when the line is inclined to one reference plane and parallel to the other actually here it is c1 the line is inclined at 30 degrees it is given as 300 it has printed as it is 30 degrees to vp in hp and it's one and a 10 mm in front of vertical plane just try to represent it in the short form meanwhile i will erase this try to represent c1 in the short form so make it as a practice writing the entire problem in the short form especially for the lines why because you can go in the sequence of steps in order without any confusion try yes sir C one <coughs> line inclined at thirty degrees to vertical plane. So here, when a line is inclined to thirty degrees to vertical plane, before starting the problem, let us go through this PPT. When the line is inclined to vertical plane, see here. When the line is inclined to vertical plane, the inclination with the vertical plane is represented with phi. Make it as a standard notation. The inclination with horizontal plane is represented by theta, and the inclination with horizontal vertical plane is represented with phi. So here it is inclination to vertical plane. It is represented with phi. A line A B. in space we should represent it with capital letters front view with a dash b dash top view ab suppose when the line is in this condition when you are seeing exactly in top view we can see the complete line length under true inclination theta we can see the complete line under true inclination but when you see in the front view what happens when you see in the front view we can see only a reduced length only a reduced length so finally if you project it in top view we can see a line inclined to x y line with a given inclination phi in top view in front view kavali ante projecting these points a comma b projecting these lines a comma b and we can identify the location of a dash and b dash and if you observe the line length ab is not equal to a dash b dash why because when the line is parallel to both the planes see here
So just one more. Why I'm showing till later. When the line is inclined to horizontal plane, when the line is inclined to horizontal plane, in front view, you can see the complete line. In front view, you can see the complete line under inclination. The inclination also is seen in front view. When the line is inclined to horizontal plane. In top view, as it is parallel to vertical plane, as it is parallel to vertical plane, you can see a line parallel to XY line in top view. As it is inclined to HP, the inclination is seen in front view. And in top view, as it is parallel, parallel to vertical plane, a line parallel to XY line is shown in top view. Just Observe here, when the line is parallel to both the reference plane, either in front view or in top view, we can see the complete line length, is it? But see the condition, when the line is inclined to horizontal plane, if you make the line inclined to horizontal plane, what happens? In front view, in any condition, whatever may be the angle, 0 to 360 degrees, you can see the complete line, is it? Line and a vary of the line length. Only the line orientation is varying with the given angle. So when the line is inclined to horizontal plane, in front view, we can see the true inclination and the complete line length. But in top view, what observe? Observe the distance between these two points. Observe the distance between these two points in top view. What happens? It is gradually reducing. The distance between two points is gradually reducing and when the line is perpendicular to the vertical plane when this angle become 90 the dimension of the line is becoming zero so when the line is parallel we can see the true length complete length in top view but when the angle is gradually increasing observe what is happening the distance between these two points observe the distance between these two points it is gradually reducing and at some position we can see only a true line or see here when the line is parallel to vertical plane in front view you can see the complete line when you make it inclined to vertical plane observe the distance between these two points see here in front view you can see the true line when i'm making this inclined to vertical plane when I'm making this inclined to vertical plane, what is happening? Can you see the complete line? No. The distance between these two points is gradually reducing. And at some point, when the line is perpendicular, we can see only a point. So, in only one view, you can see the true length. And in the other length, we can see the reduced length. Coming to the problem C1. <coughs> Line inclined at 30 degrees to VP. Always vertical plane inclination is represented with phi. Make it as a standard notation. Phi equal to 30 degrees given in the problem. And in HP, in HP means the complete line is in horizontal plane in front view. So HP relates always front view conditions. So in front view, the complete line is on XY line. So both a dash comma b dash on x y line and what about the other condition it's one end is 10 mm in front of the vp so vp relates top you so one end means let it be a a is 10 mm in front so it is 10 mm below x y line so this is the condition given so better for this problem Draw the XY line with H pencil. So from line problem onwards, draw the XY line with H pencil. Now, on this line, first always remember, theta is inclination inclined to 
phi. Sorry, phi is the angle inclined to vertical plane. So vertical plane relates always top view condition. So you must start the problem with top view. So in top view, you must draw the true length of the line with the given inclination. So what is the top view condition? Where to start? So for starting, it has given point A is 10 mm below x y line. Below x y line, mark a point A. Mark a point A at a distance of 10 mm below x y line. From point A, with the given inclination 30 degrees, with 30 degrees inclination, draw the line AB. Inclined at 30 degrees. The line AB is inclined at 30 degrees to vertical plane. So in top view, we will draw the true length of the line with the given inclination. And in front view, so front view Cavalier and A. Here the condition is both the endpoints are on XY line. A dash and B dash are on XY line. So project point A and point B up to x1. Project means draw a perpendicular line from A and B up to x y line. A perpendicular to x y line. Draw a vertical line exactly perpendicular to x y line up to x y line. And as A dash B dash or an x y line mark this point as A dash and this end point as B dash. So always remember in projection, orthographic projections, always A dash, B, B dash lies on the same projector. Projector means a line joining front view and top view. This line must be exactly perpendicular to X value. So for representing front view, actually this is X value. So differentiate Chupich turnkey, variation Chupich turnkey. Highlight this with HV. Highlight this with HB. So only A dash B dash and AB must be with HP and remaining entire problem must be with remaining means the projection lines with 2H pencil. And what are the dimensions? Point A is at a distance of 10 mm below X Y line and the true length. So AB represents a do draw the extension lines from A. Still, some of you are not drawing these extension lines completely. Just galla no ledende. Each in the part one or two mm matra me draw chas maru. Extend this from A for complete 10 mm minimum, and then draw the dimension line with arrows. Represent the dimension value. The dimension value line and the geometry AB. These two must be parallel to each other and these extension lines must be perpendicular to dimension line and the line AB. The extension lines from the coda AB line ki perpendicular ga on So while drawing, maintain these relations. Note chess continue. Shall I move on to the next problem? Yes, sir. So refer to problem number C2. I'm again typing this. C2 in chat box. The line is inclined at 40 degrees to HP. The line is inclined at 40 degrees to HP. So let this be here. So this first problem. So write the problem number on the right hand side top corner. Don't forget to indicate the top problem number. Many of you are not indicating this problem number. Now, C2. The line is inclined at 40 degrees to HP. So the inclination with the is it with the HP. So theta equal to 40. So the standard notation. Inclination to HP with theta and inclination to VP with 5. And next, 
its one end is 15 mm above hp its one end is 15 mm above hp so front view condition a dash is 15 mm above x y line parallel to and 30 mm in front of vp the line is parallel to vp so in top view the line is parallel to x y line and 30 mm in front of vp so both a comma b are 30 mm below x y so vp always relates to vertical plane relations always relates to top view condition so in top view both a and b are 30 mm below x y line so with this condition we have to complete the problem i'm extending this so represent all the three cases a b c on the same x y line represent all the three problems a b c on the same x y line now first step start with in which we can say the true length of the line the line is inclined to horizontal okay. plane as the line is inclined to horizontal plane horizontal plane relates to front view so in front view we can see the true length of the line and the inclination so started with a dash mark a dash at a distance of 15 mm above x y line mark point a dash so from a dash with 40 degrees inclination draw a line draw an inclined line for 80 mm true length of the line given in the problem for all the problems a b c consider the length of the line as 80 mm so a dash b dash 80 mm with the inclination Forty degrees with the inclination forty degrees. So this we can represent at the front view. So for drawing top view, so top view draw chair and day same condition. Project point A dash and B dash to top view means draw a perpendicular line to X Y line from A dash and B dash up to Ecuador project chair. below x y 30 mm unda below x y 30 mm given in the problem the top view is at a distance of 30 mm below x y line so below x y line 30 mm marku project chesi and at a distance of 30 mm below x y line mark point a and b so this is how to draw when the line is inclined to vertical plane when the line is inclined to vertical plane and coming to the dimensions given in the problem point a dash 10 mm so 15 mm above x y line and a 30 mm below x y line 15 30 no need to indicate the same dimension for b also it is a repetition but because a and b are at the same distance from x y line so indicating one dimension is sufficient and one more thing is indicating suppose when you are drawing these extension lines simply erase this a dash or b dash and write it some other i am indicating a dash here but because this extension lines or dimension lines be careful they should not intersect any other lines or points what you are representing atm will you try the third problem i am not explaining the third problem in class i am leaving it for you try the third problem in the same sequence of steps so we completed these two conditions when the line is inclined to vertical plane when the line is inclined to horizontal plane now if you observe these two problems if you observe these two problems 
Can you identify any similarity in these two problems? Just observations. The overall outline, neglect the dimensions, neglect about dimensions. If you see the outline, when the line is inclined to vertical plane, the final shape is in this form. It's something like trapezium. This is XY line. A dash, B dash, AB. The distances and inclinations may, may vary. But the final shape is in this form. Similarly, when the line is inclined to horizontal plane, we'll get AB, A dash, B dash. Same, one more trapezium, but with the inclination is shown in front view. So this is the inclination theta, and here this is the inclination phi. General representation. When the line is inclined to horizontal plane and when the line is inclined to vertical plane. So when the line is inclined to vertical plane, true length and true inclinations are in top view. When the line is inclined to horizontal plane, true inclination and the true length are in front view. So here A dash B dash is less than the line AB and this is only the front view length not the true length, reduced value or apparent value. Similarly, when the line is inclined to horizontal plane, in top view, you can see only this top view length is less than the true length. The top view length is less than the true length. So why I'm indicating this is, the problems now, what we are discussing, problem number two, three, four, five, six are, the not the direct problems are not the direct problems. So direct problem means these two problems which we solved just now means directly the length of the line and the inclination are given and distance of one point from the horizontal plane or from the vertical plane are given. So indirect problem means here, if you observe, what are the various dimensions, possible dimensions? What are the various possible dimensions? Length of the original line. True length. Above or below x1. Front view length. Two length values are there. At the same time, distance of A dash from x1 line, distance of A from x1 line, distance of B from x1 line, Distance of B dash from X Y line. Four distances, two lengths, and one angle phi. Is it or not? So in this complete problem, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven variables are there. You can simply take these are the variables. Similarly, in the second one also, true length of the line, top view length. Distance of A dash, B dash, A, B from X, Y lines and angle theta. So, man ki put our discussion in two problems on the coda. True length of the line and true inclination each other and ask it to complete the problem. And the problems what we are discussing from now onwards are they may not give the true length of the line or the true inclination but in some other means by giving these four distances or by giving the front view length or by giving the top view length, the problem is described and we have to calculate, identify the true inclination or the true length of the line. So that's why we have to remember these two configurations when the line is inclined to vertical plane and when the line is inclined to horizontal plane. So these two are called as the conceptual figures. The angles or lengths may vary but the shape remains the same so let us go to the second problem i'm sharing it again in the chat box 
so for today's class i will solve the second problem third problem i am giving you assignment for you third problem but because second and third problem are on the same base i will explain only one the third one you try a line a 100 mm long line so whatever data you observe in the problem try to represent them in a short form immediately ala practice chestene meek easy ga untundi so first a 100 mm long line means true length of the line is 100 mm true length of the line is 100 mm so this is the third problem which in the circle i did as 3 is parallel to on 25 mm above hp the line is parallel to hp on 25 mm above hp hp relates always front view conditions so a dash comma b dash r 25 mm above x y line as it is given above hp above x y line its two ends are 25 mm and 40 mm in front of vertical plane so vertical plane always leads to top view condition so two ends are one end stabilize a is 25 mm below xy and other end point b is 40 mm below xy respectively draw the projections and find its inclination with vertical plane true length is given and asking to calculate inclination with vertical plane means phi value phi is not given so starting the problem just draw x y line x y and try to represent these points on the figure so I represent chese tapudu gurtu pettukondi eppudu kuda we have to fix one point either a or b so a or b rendu fix cheyachu but first preference is given to point a so fixing means drawing both the front view and top view of any one reference point so let us take a we know the location of point a dash 25 mm above x y line and a 25 mm below x y line so i'm drawing draw it with 2h pencil as it is a projection line draw it with a 2h pencil a dash 25 mm above x y line and a 20 mm below x y line we also know b dash and b so b dash and b draw chechu but do you know the projector distance a dash ki b b dash ki madhye projector distance we don't know so line draw cheyali ante here the condition is either you have to know its you have to know its both its length and orientation rendu teliyali we have only the length we don't know the orientation so etla draw cheyali any of you true length is 100 mm and true length av log and basically in front view or top view top view sir top view. as this is the problem relating the inclination with vertical plane we can see the true length in top view so top you know true length ravali so true length ravali ante we should know the end point of b b ekadundi b is at a distance of 40 mm below x y line so em cheyalante x y line ki parallel ga x y line ki parallel ga draw a line with 2h pencil draw a parallel line with 2h pencil at a distance of Forty mm below x value. 
ఫార్టీ ఎంఎం బిలో ఎక్స్ వై లైన్ ఎక్స్ వై లైన్ కి పేల్ గా టూ హెచ్ పెన్సిల్ తో ఒక లైన్ డ్రా చేయండి దిస్ ఈస్ ఇండికేటింగ్ లోకస్ ఆఫ్ బి మీన్స్ ద పాయింట్ బి ఎగ్జిస్ట్ సమ్వేర్ ఆన్ దిస్ లైన్ యాజ్ పర్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ పాయింట్ బి ఈస్ ఫార్టీ ఎంఎం బిలో ఎక్స్ వై లైన్ సో బిలో ఎక్స్ వైన్ బట్ ఏ పొజిషన్ లో ఉందో వీ డోంట్ నో so that's why you are drawing a parallel line to x y line now after drawing a parallel line as we know the true length is 100 mm with a as center radius equal to 100 mm a as center radius equal to 100 mm draw an arc on this line draw an arc on this line now join this point is b now check the condition given in the problem Point B is 40 mm below XY line. AB, true length is? 100 mm. 100 mm. So both the conditions are satisfied. Is it? So this is how to get the point B. Now, what about point B dash? We know A dash, A, B. Only remaining point is? 25 mm. B dash Kavali and A. We know the condition that always b and b dash lie on the same projectile means draw a perpendicular line to x y line from b b ninchi pass out to with 2 h pencil draw a perpendicular line so this is indicating the projectile always a a dash lie on the same projectile b b dash lie on the same projectile means a vertical line perpendicular to x y now ఎక్కడ ఉంటుంది ఈ లైన్ మీద బి డాష్ ఈస్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఎంఎం అబో ఎక్స్ వై లైన్ సో ఈ లైన్ మీద మార్క్ ఏ పాయింట్ ఎట్ డిస్టెన్స్ అప్ టు ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఎంఎం సో దిస్ ప్రొజెక్ట్ ఈ ప్రొజెక్ట్ అని ఎక్స్ వై లైన్ కి ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఎంఎం పైకి మార్క్ ఏ పాయింట్ బి డాష్ జాయిన్ ఏ డాష్ బి డాష్ సార్ ఏ డాష్ బి డాష్ ఎక్స్ వై పారల్ గా వస్తుంది సార్ sorry x y parallel was yes, yes a dash b dash will get a parallel line to x y line both a dash and b dash are at the same distance so a dash ninchi this is the problem line incline parallel to another reference point so there is the point b dash so ipudu problem la first complete the dimensions problem lo ichin dimensions 40 mm below x y line and these two values 25 45 even the same value but different dimension next problem lo calculate cheyamanna value endi find the inclination with the vertical plane so as you ask to find inclination with vertical plane mark this angle as don't write the value mark this angle as phi just only phi symbol represent chesi angle calculate chesi bottom within the guidelines phi equal to write the value mir calculate chesina value protractor to measure chesi a value ni write it so make it a practice the dimensions given in the problem must be represented as the dimensions on the figure and the values asked to calculate like inclination with vertical plane we should represent them at the bottom of the figure so that you are showing the clear variation and even the examiner also doesn't have any confusion any confusion but just by simply seeing the value of phi they can get an idea so yes this is the phi value and you know the where it exists is it all in the same condition third problem also me try cheyandi third problem kuda exactly reverse reverse to this second that is inclination to the horizontal plane horizontal plane i'm tapping it in the chart box 
సో నెక్స్ట్ క్లాస్ రేపు క్లాస్ కి వచ్చే లోపు మీరు థర్డ్ ప్రాబ్లం ట్రై చేయండి ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ వీ గోన్ టు కంప్లీట్ ఇండ్ నెక్స్ట్ క్లాస్ ఓకే ఆల్మోస్ట్ ద సేమ్ ప్రాబ్లం బట్ విత్ ఇంక్లేషన్ టు హారిజెంటల్ ప్రాబ్లం మీరు ట్రై చేయండి మీన్ వైల్ ఐ టేక్ ద అటెండెన్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ డౌట్స్ అన్యూట్ యువర్ ఆడియో అండ్ క్లారిఫైడ్ డౌట్స్ నాకు ఓన్లీ వన్ ఆర్ టూ మెంబర్స్ వాయిస్ మాత్రమే వినపడుతుంది వాట్ అబౌట్ అదర్స్ 